what's going on guys and welcome back to the channel for today's video we're going to be checking out the transformers legacy evolution rise of tyranny 2 pack minor megatron and senator rap bat and it is definitely one of the coolest looking sets that personally i think have so far been shown off and can i just say how awesome it is to see hasbro finally stepping out of the box and delving deeper into the mythology of the idw universe i mean they were kind of scratching the surface when they released tarn and let's all face it tarn is kind of a safe bet as everybody loves the character of tarn but to get a new origin Megatron and in particular a Senator Ratbat, I definitely think is really interesting and that next box set that we're going to be checking out, I think it's the Senator Shockwave and the Data Clerk Orion Pax again appears to be pushing into a slightly bolder direction so yeah definitely looking forward to seeing as to what other exclusives we can maybe see as we go into Legacy Year 3 but anyway we're going to be kicking things off by checking out the origin Megatron aka Minor Megatron and yeah it's a super sick looking figure you know we've seen so many versions of Orion Pax or an origin version of Optimus Prime over the past couple of years it's kind of cool to see the early days of Megatron realized in plastic form and yeah it's a really cool looking figure now I do understand that this does use the Siege Megatron as a basis and we've seen that mold repainted reused a thousand times since its original release way back in 2018 but I'm gonna be honest I think at the moment this is probably one of the nicest repaints slash partials that we've so far seen so in terms of what's new the head sculpt surprisingly is completely brand new personally I was expecting them to reuse that G2 hero combat Megatron head that was a part of the gen select line back in the early siege days but no they did give us a brand new sculpt which allows for some much greater accuracy especially packed into the crest of the head i love the new chest design i mean as you guys can see we kind of get these three clamps which peg into the abs so yeah that looks really sick and i like the kind of the hazard strips that you'll see throughout this guy but besides the chest the heads and the shoulders i do believe this is basically just a reuse of the siege megatron but really nice color deco you know i in particular like some of the hazard strips that we've got packed here into the knee joint and as we turn this guy around to the back it would have been super awesome to have seen them take these treads and slightly elevate them over the top of the head as I do believe that's a design trait that Origin Megatron had in the IDW series but unfortunately they do just keep the position of the original Siege version you know it's not the end of the world now in terms of his articulation the head is still on a ball joint so it will look up and down it will look left to right one thing that I will say is that anything that is brand new feels incredibly sturdy but when you've got a lot of reuse such as here out of the legs they definitely feel significantly looser than any of the new Netflix and Megatron repaints that we've recently gone, which kind of sucks, but the shoulders will go the full 360, they'll go out to the sides, we do get a pretty sturdy hinge joint here out of the elbow, they'll bend to 90, a very nice waist joint, I mean that is super sturdy, but unfortunately the same cannot be said here for the hips, so they will hold their position going forwards and backwards, but personally I just think the outwards range is a little too loose for my liking, especially when you've got this guy kind of on a standard flat surface, so yeah that's definitely something to watch out for, but we do get a pretty decent thigh rotation, the knees were incredibly loose when I originally got this guy but luckily they are held together via a screw so it was very easy to kind of stiffen them up but we do get 90 degree bend there out of the knee and then finally as we come here to the ankles we still get that wicked rocker as well as a pivot going forwards and backwards but that pivot is super loose at least on my copy but overall incredibly impressed I mean I do think this Megatron looks badass now in addition to some of the new retooled pieces that we have packed into the upper torso what would a minor Megatron be without an actual pickaxe and as you guys can see they've completely given us a brand new weapon and it does look really awesome you you know, I like this kind of pink Energon effect that we've got going on here for the top. Surprisingly, a wicked amount of detail packed into that handle. And this isn't the only accessory it comes with because, bang, we do get this drill bit. And you can Evo Fusion these weapons together, which I'll showcase in just a second. But that is such a nicely detailed and painted piece. And personally, I like to kind of stack this on top of the shoulders to recreate that kind of G1 silhouette of Megatron where he had kind of the barrel of the gun hanging over the top of the shoulder. I think that looks really cool. But because this is part of Legacy Evolution, we have got to evo fusion these weapons together so to kick start things off with you will want to remove the tip of the drill bit we'll then take the pickaxe separate the handle away from it and you can kind of create this bow and arrow looking weapon so you can peg the drill bit into the tip of the pickaxe we can then take this larger mounted section smack it here into kind of the mid piece and then we can take this as a handle and bang there you've got your evo fusion weapon which to be honest i think is one of the strongest evo fusion combos that we've seen out of legacy evolution so far and personally i like to kind of smack this onto the side of Megatron's arm to give the impression that this is sort of his pre-G1 fusion cannon so yeah there's a lot you can do love the weapons and in addition to some of the new retool pieces that we've got for the upper torso it definitely does create for a super badass looking Megatron. 
Now, as we get stuck into a few comparisons, here we have Minor Megatron alongside the Siege Megatron. And yes, as some of you guys may have seen from one of my most recent videos where I whacked this guy up for a comparison, he is yellowing terribly, which absolutely sucks. I'm kind of hoping that considering this is based off the same mold, that the same fate doesn't plague this Minor Megatron. But as you guys can see, as I said beforehand, a great reuse, definitely one of the most distinctive reuses that we've so far seen for the Siege Megatron mold. And in terms of what's different, like I said beforehand, shoulders, head and chest but everything else does appear to be a direct reuse. Here he is stacked up alongside the comic universe Voyager class Tarn. Like I said previously, so badass to see Hasbro delving into the IDW continuity. I hope this time next year we have an entire army of IDW figures as they definitely have some of the most distinctive designs, especially that upcoming Senator Shockwave. Here he is stacked up alongside the Earthrise Optimus Prime, Legacy Evolution Orion Pax. So we've kind of got two pre-war versions of Optimus Prime and Megatron. And and then finally, the Amazon exclusive Wrecker subline version of Impactor. And I've brought this mold out because I do believe this Origin Megatron is specifically based on a scene between these two characters from the comic universe. So, yeah, I just thought it'd be interesting to kind of stack these two up alongside each other. Now, getting stuck into the transformation for Origin Megatron incredibly quickly because I'm sure you guys know how this all works by now. First of all, you're going to want to straighten the elbows out, take the hands and just fold them into these cavities. The next step you're going to want to do, or at least is what I do, is take the backpack and basically just shift this section here all the way up. And then what that will then allow you to do is take the shoulders, detach them away from the chest unit and just bring them inwards. Now, on the original Siege Megatron, at this point, you would kind of rotate the fusion cannon around. I'm going to leave the accessories off until the very end because there are a few alternate configurations which personally I think look a little better than the official conversion but then what you're going to want to do is take the treads and just split these sections upwards and check out the amount of detail that we have sculpted into this piece. I mean I do like the amount of detail Hasbro pack into these transformers. This is an area which you really only see during transformation but anyway take this section kind of thread it through and it will tab itself into these little slots. We can then take this whole assembly and just kind of shift it backwards. Next up, you're then gonna to wanna to rotate the waist here all the way around, take the heel spurs and snap them into the soles of the feet. The next step you're gonna to wanna to do is take these pieces and just hinge them out to the side and then basically get him doing the split and you're then gonna to wanna to kind of snap this joint here inwards, just like this. And now personally, I really like the way this transforms. So you take this joint here, which is held on via the screw and the thigh joint and basically shift this here all the way up. Once you've got it to this point, we can then take this panel and then just snap that into place. Do the exact same here for this side. So fold that up, snap this section into place. And there you have the base tank mode for Megatron. So now is where you can bring in some of the weapons. So the official transformation, I believe, has something like this. So you basically take the top of the pickaxe, separate it, and primarily use the handle. We can then snap this piece into place. And what's going to happen here is we do have two slots here and here that these pieces are going to snap into. So you can just peg that in there and do the exact same for this side. And that is the official conversion. And they do say something about you taking this and smacking it onto the side of the tank. Personally, I don't really like the way that looks. So what you can do is take this section and kind of Evo Fusion it much like we saw previously. So you can take this, smack that in and kind of have him have this massive turret, which personally I think looks a lot cooler. Or you can take this piece here and take one of the forearms, rotate this section upwards to kind of create a sentry turret, which I think looks way nicer. And then we can just smack that into place. And that is my preferred configuration for Origin Megatron in tank mode. But as you guys can see, we do get some additional details such as these hazard strips for the front of the tank. And you know, if you own the Siege Megatron mold, you know exactly how this looks roughly. But I do kind of like the alternate transformation of the accessories. And personally, I do just think it looks a little cooler than the official conversion. And here for a very quick comparison, we have Minor Megatron alongside the Siege Netflix version. So again, basically identical here in the tank mode, besides the configuration of the new accessories. Now this set is the two packs, so this review would just not be complete without checking out the sinister Senator Ratbat. And despite me singing the praises of the Origin slash Minor Megatron, not only do I think this is a slightly bolder character choice, but this may just be the better out of the two in terms of the set, because this guy does look wicked. And personally, I think it's a prime example as to why Legacy is so awesome, because until this set was announced, I had no idea Senator Ratbat even existed. And do you know what? It would have been an absolute travesty not to have seen this bad 
badass design realized in action figure form because he does just look so sick and I'm super excited to actually check out the Senator Shockwave because again despite me not being too familiar with that character the design looks so freaking awesome you know these IDW designs are just literally an entire Pandora's box of action figures Hasbro can bring out but anyways we check out Senator Ratbat no wonder Megatron turned to the dark side because this guy looks formidable I mean he is so sinister looking now he is a reuse of the Studio Series 86 Scourge personally from some of the comic strips I was able to find online I think that was a great choice because at least in terms of robot mode from the front he does appear to be near enough smack on it's a slightly different situation when we get into the vehicle mode but you know we do get a brand new head sculpt I do believe the neck piece is also new the chest and the shoulders are brand new and of course the color scheme besides that everything else is a reuse of Scourge but yeah, super nicely painted as well as sculpted. You know, the black and purple just complement each other so nicely. And as we flip this guy around to the back, unfortunately, he is plagued with quite a lot of kibble. But considering these pieces are just on hinge joints and the vehicle mode isn't the greatest, you could just pop them off in order to get a slightly cleaner profile out of the robot mode. So... Yeah, definitely a super sick looking figure. Now, in terms of the articulation, I think the head is the most poseable out of all of the Scourge molds. So it can look up that far as well as down that far. It can also tilt left to right, which is just so sinister looking. We do get some pretty decent hinge joints out of the shoulders, you know, basically the same level of articulation that you guys saw from Scourge. Maybe would have been nice had they packed on two open hands for this figure because I know with the sweep and Scourge, it was either one left hand open or one right hand open. I just think it would have been cool to have made use out of both of those open hand sculpts because personally I think they look way more sinister but yeah you know the hip joints are very sturdy unlike minor Megatron you know there doesn't appear to be any kind of degradation of the mold which is pretty awesome now sadly despite them retooling a fair amount in terms of the robot mode he does just come with the same old blaster would have been cool had they packaged in something additional but you know what not badly sculpted and pretty decently cast in a nice badass purple plastic so yeah Senator Ratbat definitely looking like a force to be reckoned with now, as we jump into a few comparisons for Senator Ratbat, here we have him alongside the Moldmate Studio Series Scourge. So, as I said previously, the neck brace, the head, the shoulders, and the chest is different, and also the crotch plate. I believe that was something I missed when I was kind of doing the overview of Ratbat. So, yeah, they did change quite a bit, and the color scheme, of course, is drastically different, which, at least to me, is incredibly successful in differentiating the two between each other. So, yeah, that's super sick. And due to the excellent articulation of the back wings, you can kind of change the display from a front-on perspective with Ratbat, which I thought was pretty awesome, but yeah, gonna be honest with you guys, I think I prefer the design of Ratbat when in comparison to Scourge. Here is him stacked up alongside the Legacy Tarn, so two IDW Decepticon baddies, Earthrise Optimus Prime, and finally Orion Pax. Now, quickly going through the transformation to kickstart things off with, you are just going to want to take the heel spurs and stack them into the soles of the feet. We can then take the front toes and just collapse them over the top. Much like Scourge, you'll then want to combine the two halves just like this. And one thing I've noticed about Senator Ratbat is that the hinge joints which attach the shoulders onto the main chest are a little looser when in comparison to Scourge. So I do think that kind of reduces the risk of, you know, potentially snapping the hinge joint out of the shoulder, which is definitely good in my opinion. But yeah, just attach these sections down and then these little slots are going to smack themselves into those tabs and do the exact same here for this side so bring that down peg that there into place what you'll then want to do is take the wings and basically just attach them away from this back panel take this section here lift it all the way up and it does perfectly kind of fit into the back of center rat bat's head which i thought was pretty cool we'll then take this section detach this and basically bring this entire piece away from the main chest unit and straighten it out We've then got these little tabs here, which are going to smack themselves into the slots at the top. So let's just peg these pieces in. This piece is then going to snap over the top and you'll take this face cover, much like Scourge, and then just kind of slide it up and over. In terms of these pieces, you know, you're going to want to fold out these sections, just kind of hinge these pieces out to the back and do the exact same. And it's very easy from here onwards. So we just collapse these panels in upon themselves, snap that in there. And then as far as all this goes... It does just very nicely kind of groove into place. Take the wings, snap them into the chest piece. And then these pieces here, you are just going to want to make sure that you snap nice and firmly into place. 
And bang! There we have Senator Ratbat fully transformed into kind of the Cybertronian space bow again. Very similar to the alt mode that we saw from Scourge. Personally, I never really thought this made sense because, to tell the truth, I never could quite make out exactly what it was supposed to be. But here in alt mode, you know, it's a little less impressive when in comparison to the bot mode. They did change this kind of face cover panel, so it now does have some pretty sick detail. Kind of reminds me of the chest detail, by the way. It does just look like a slightly shrunken down version of that sculpt. So I guess that was the look they were going for but the purple plastic is cool, you know, they did kind of deck out the turbines in a nice glossy black, but that is pretty much the ship mode, and for a comparison, very straightforward, here we have it alongside Scourge, so... Yeah, it does look a little plainer, gonna be honest, but in comparison to Scourge, because we don't have no insignia right up front, but... Overall, not looking too bad, and they did also change this piece, which I'm just noticing now, so... Yeah, this too's also been completely retooled, so... Yeah, I guess this guy is definitely slightly more than meets the eye. And wrapping up on this review for the Transformers Legacy Evolution Rise of Tyranny 2-Pack. So kind of go back to my earlier point, one of the best looking sets that I think Hasbro have put out not only for this year, but even for the past couple of years. I mean, these are two very distinctively different versions of the characters, and it's so awesome to finally get an Origin Megatron in the Voyager class scale. Now, granted, both of these are retools of pre-existing figures, but I'd say very clever retools. Yes, it would have been awesome to see a complete brand new mold for Megatron, but I am willing to to bet this is probably the last time we're going to see that Siege Megatron mold because it is coming up to be around five or six years old now. But yeah, very clever reuse. You know, the way they retooled some of the pieces in particular for the robot mode, I think is badass. In terms of the tank mode, the accessories do definitely do a lot of the heavy lifting. But personally, I'm always going to be sticking these guys in bot mode. And the same could be said for Senator Ratbat. You know, this is a character which I never even knew existed, which I think is why Legacy is so awesome as it brings some of these characters which would otherwise be unknown amongst the majority fans to the forefront. I mean, I want to see what other character designs are in that IDW continuity now because I'm very impressed with the way Origin Megatron turned out, but probably even a little more impressed with the design of Senator Ratbat. So if you're into these comic universe figures, then yeah, this is definitely a set to pick up. And, you know, if it does well, hopefully we'll see more of these kind of comic universe figures coming out in the near future. I'd love to get your thoughts on this set down below. What do you guys think of them? Is there one that you guys prefer over the other? And until my next video, I'll see you then. Thanks for watching.